when people see this thing, they actually don't believe it's a golf cart. Golf Karting TV is your inside source for the coolest upgrades, mods, and accessories to take your trusty golf cart from drab to fab. Hey, and welcome back to Golf Karting TV. My name is Matt with Converted Carts. Glad to have you back here today. So the cart we're looking at today is truly something uh, more unique than we've seen before. I may have said that before, but this has got to be the... the most unique anyway uh totally custom built on a on a golf cart frame but then stretched out used car parts used with all kinds of things to make it uh really stand out and so i think you're gonna love this thing talking with andy fisher down in merle's inlet down in south carolina and i think you're gonna love today's episode let's take a look merle's inlet here and talking to andy fisher of uh, Fisher Carts, and he's got this awesome cart. So Andy, why don't you tell us just a little bit about what you've done here? All right, uh, as you can see, it's custom. I hand built the front end axle. I've got Harley Davidson wheels attached to easy go spindles. I've got air shocks all the way around it for the air ride. I used aftermarket lights for the headlights. I've got an actual styrofoam mock-up block that I dressed up with the header pipes, the valve covers, supercharger, the air intake. I have my air shock gauge for my tank. I do have hydraulic Miata disc brakes on the rear that I made a little clip on the brake pedal myself to lock the brakes down to stop it, to hold it on a hill. I built and fabricated the windshield. It's got a 6772 steering column in it with a Chevrolet uh, soft grip steering wheel. It's got GPS speedometer. It's got the air gauges, battery gauges. It's got a horn button. <laughs> uh, and you said this bucket is actual size. So yes, we're talking about a- this is an actual size of a 20, 23, 24, Two twenty-three T bucket. It's got the the bat wings, or the full size bat wings for a T bucket. I've actually got the forward and reverse switch. If you look close, I've got the forward reverse switch hooked up to the gear shifter on the steering column to put it in forward and reverse. So it works just like a regular shifter. That's so cool. Um, it's got the, uh, it's actually got, these are aftermarket 67 Cobra wheels. They have a four bolt pattern, but they're a little bit bigger than the fat than stock golf carts. So right. I had to put adapters on it. It's got the hand fabricated bed that I built myself. And it's got the Navitas 5K controller and motor with the extreme team of, I think it's rated at the 50, 56 volts. Lithium. 58.4 volts. Actually. Yeah, lithium battery that has pulls the whole thing. You said this goes how fast? It runs about 45 with just me in it. Nice. Uh, the speed limits down here are 35, and if the cops catch you in a golf cart over 35, they can take your golf cart from you. Oh, so got it. An eye off we don't want to do that. Out. Yeah. Um, that is so cool. It's got the uh, compressor for the air shocks. It's actually up inside the engine block where the oil pan would be. And I got a metal plate holding it in, screwed into the bottom of the block. It's got turn signals, headlights, brake lights. Um, it's got a Bluetooth stereo. And that's, that's awesome. That's about it. Are you able to uh, turn it on for me? Make the, yeah, the I sound? Yeah, turn it on. And... So you've got a, that engine doesn't do anything, but got a little speaker sound that can make that come out. So 
but that's actually a speaker. Awesome. Well, thanks, Andy. That's such a cool cart, and uh, I think some people will be pretty impressed with the fact that it is a golf cart. Even as we've stood here, standing on the beach, people walk by and we're pretty blown away that it's a golf cart. So Yeah, I get that reaction a lot from everybody. Very well done. Thanks for being able to uh, take the time and show us what you got here. Thanks for coming. I've enjoyed it. So the coolest thing about that cart was the speaker system that he has tied into it that he plays that rumbling motor engine kind of thing going on. And uh, I think that's just so cool. People think that it's actually a, a hot rod when it, when it goes driving by. Hey, want to do a quick shout out, Royal and Awesome. Thanks for the shirt. Uh, if you like crazy golf shirts and things like this, check them out. Otherwise, give us a like and a subscribe and mash that bell i think mash is the funniest word in the world to talk about but click the bell make sure you get notified whenever we have a new episode that comes out which happens to be every wednesday at noon we'll see you next time